Hello everyone! Today we are going to go through a quick refresher on how to check your Family Search account settings and how to connect your Family Search account to the partner sites. First off, let's navigate to FamilySearch.org. In the top right hand corner, hover over your name. A drop box will appear. Click on Settings. This is the settings page for Family Search. At the top, there are five tabs. We'll go through each one of them in order. First off, you will see your full name. I always make that public. Next is the username, and then a box that asks you if you want to change your password. Obviously, it's not going to show you what your password is, but you know what to do if you need to change it. In the display name, I always use my full name, including my maiden name. That way, if somebody wonders who I am, they can trace me back through my maiden name before they get upset at me with, for changing something on their tree. The last four pieces of information are birth date, sex, membership record number, or birth date if not a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, and helper number. The next tab is the contact tab you see that the contact name is always made public. I always make my email public, but nothing else. I realize that there's a message feature, but for me, email seems easier to use. The middle tab is notifications. I have lots of notifications going on at the moment. You can click or unclick to your heart's desire. If you don't want any of these notifications, just click off in the bottom left hand corner. The next tab is Preferences. Here you can see a couple of options for your display in Family Tree. It is easy to toggle the LDS Temple information on or off. It is really helpful when you want to share copies of pedigree charts or family group records with those family members that don't use the computer or those who just like their paper. I love this option because I can keep my non-LDS cousins and relatives updated, but not remind them that I am of the LDS faith. The starting person can also be changed. Again, this is helpful if you want to share records showing someone else as the beginning person. The email address is a double check and you can also pick your preferred language. The last tab is the place where you see all of your connected accounts. When you give a program permission to access your family tree, it will notify you here, and you'll be able to see it here. If you want to revoke access at any time, just click Revoke Access. So that's the tour, the end of our tour of settings. Coming back to you now. Now let's review how to connect with the Family Search Partners. This is an opportunity for members of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints to have free accounts with these partners. There are a couple of ways to get started. I think that the easiest way to get to the connection page is to start from your favorite browser. In the address bar, type in familysearch.org front slash partner access. This is the page that will open up. As you can see, there are five partners at this time. To get these free partnership accounts, you need to go through this page. If patrons tell you that they try to sign in to any of these partners and they are asked about a subscription charge, they didn't sign up in the correct way. Help them untangle and get signed in and connected through this page. If you are already working in Family Search, Another way to connect to the partners is to go to the Help tab in the top right-hand corner. Click on the Help Center in the drop-down box. You will be presented with these icons. Click on Partners. Finally, click on Partner Access. And you will be back here at the starting page. Let's go through these one by one. 
The partner pages where you sign up all look basically the same. You can either create your free account or sign in and connect your account. So let's start here with the Ancestry account. If you haven't created an Ancestry account before, this is what the next screen will look like. Click on Accept and read the screens that follow. You will be up and running in no time, but please remember that each of these partner sites have many of the same record sets, but then they each have different sets that might help you out with your research. I personally think that everyone needs to have an account with all five partners. You don't have to have your full tree on each one, but use the partners to leverage your research. Find My Past is a site for UK or United Kingdom research. This is the starting page for them. Here is the page if you need to create an account. Fill out the form and then click on the register button in the bottom left hand corner. If you have had an account with Find My Past, if you have an account with Find My Past, this is where you put your sign in information and click sign in to connect your account to Family Search. Next up is MyHeritage. MyHeritage has more international records than anyone else. They are be based outside of Tel Aviv, Israel, but they also have small offices in Utah and California. I have just the Eastern European portion of my tree on MyHeritage, and I, ha I have had some great success connecting with others on this site. They also do some really cool pro bono work. Check out their pro bono initiatives on their YouTube channel. Here's what the homepage of MyHeritage looks like. Obviously, you won't have the red boxes on yours, but you get the idea. American Ancestors is hosted by the New England Historic Genealogical Society. Sign up or sign in through the now familiar top tabs. Take the time to explore a little on the American Ancestors website. It may surprise you what they have in their collections. The newest Family Search partner is Jenny Annette. Jenny Annette is for continental Europe and it is based in France. Again, get signed up or signed in and start exploring what this site has to offer. Well, that wraps up our quick review of Family Search account settings and Family Search partners. Please visit our homepage to find out more about our one on one help in library classes and library resources. Be sure to subscribe to our BYU Family History YouTube channel for more short family history videos and in depth webinars. Thanks for watching and have a great day.